Aha! It looks like you're finally reviewing the Batman movie Lego Minifigures Series 1. No, Batman, I'm actually reviewing Series 2 today. Ah, you made me drop my lobster thermidor. On the table, we are looking at just a few bags of the Lego Batman movie Series 2 minifigures. Just a few bags, huh? Okay, yeah, maybe 20 are out there. Not sure exactly what I have here. It could possibly be all 20, or it could possibly be 20 Vacation Alfreds. Now, normally I open these individually, but I'm thinking of being even more crazy and just opening all of these at once, and then have a Bat Bonanza build. That's daddy! So let's waste not more time and open these up. I think I'll go on a short vacation while you do that. There we go. Jeez, there's heads rolling everywhere. Still not sure if this was the wisest thing to do. I'm sure there's some people fretting out there that I just mixed up all the display stands. And possibly Zan and Jaina's collars. There's a lot of work to be done. Inside each pack we have a handy guide with all our characters that should help me build these back together again. I think I see some favorites in here already that I can't wait to see. Where do we even start? Oh my goodness. Well, I think I'm going to try to find Killer Moth, one of my favorites in here. See what we can do here. Let's get a display stand ready. And each one of these display stands has a little bat symbol on it, so that's kind of neat. Really makes them stand out. Killer Moth should be easy to find with his bright orange pants and somewhat bright purple body. There we go. And now we have to find those neon wings. And the hardest part will be that headpiece. Ah. And look at that, his helmet. And finally gun. I did it, I built one out of the 20. And technically each time it's gonna get a little easier. There is Killer Moth, very silly. I love the wings on the back of that one. Good figure to start off with. Well, we started with a bad guy. Let's work on a good guy. Or should I say good girl with black canary. She even comes with a mic to carry on her canary cry. Eep. Yeah, not sure it sounds like that. I hope I got her headpiece right, but I'm pretty sure it's not General Zod's beard, so I think we're okay. All right, what else can we find? Aha, the Clock King, one of my favorites. Always running out of time fighting this villain. I like how we have two clock hands for spears, and I like his homemade look-like suit. Clocks going down the sides of his arms and legs, and looks like some gears are coming out of the back of that head. A really fun villain to play with. Okay, what can we build now? And it's Mermaid Batman, easily one of the weirdest minifigures of this collection. Wow. Mermaid Batman is standing up tall on his fin piece, kind of like that. I think the other mermaid pieces I have are more at a sitting position. He has a trident accessory weapon, seashells over his pecs, and your standard bat cowl. That is outrageous. There we go, trouble getting that guitar into his hands. It's a Disco Alfred. What a fancy suit. Rhinestones everywhere. What a performance. This is the first of the two Alfred figures in this collection. Kind of funny they included two Alfreds in Series 2. Ah, behold, Dr. Phosphorus. I really don't know very little about Dr. Phosphorus. I don't think I've ever sat through a show or a comic with him involved, 
but this is a great figure. It is really fluorescent. It's like you could practically see right through him without being transparent. Many of the minifigures in these bags are pretty silly, but this is one of the few that you could really have some fun with adventure-wise. Just make sure to have your radioactive gloves on. Oh. The main reason why I picked up this collection, the Wonder Twins, Zan and Jaina. So awesome that they included these two. Slowly building up my Super Friends Legion. They look absolutely terrific, although there might be a possibility of getting their pants and their hair pieces switched. I'm not sure about that. Jana has some vinyl with the top 24 party songs, and Zan has his transformation bucket of water. And if you look closely, you can see a little frowny face in that water. So cool. Thanks for stopping by, Zan and Jaina. Hey, where's Gleek? Alright, let's stick with purple. Let's find a Batgirl. Aha! Vacation Batgirl, also known as Surfer Batgirl. How many LEGO Surfer minifigures have they made all these years? I like how we can twirl her ponytail around a little bit. Splashy minifigure. Uh-oh. Looks like we're really heavy on the good guys. We're gonna have to work on a bad guy now. Let's see if we can build a vacation joker. Looks really technical. Looks like vacation joker. This might be one of the better figures in the collection, if not the best. There are a lot of pieces going on with this minifigure. Joker's got a camera, an inflatable ducky, and a uh, yummy lime Joker popsicle. This would make for a great desk minifigure, kind of remind you of vacation to come, hopefully. I've really grown to love the smile on this Joker. At first, when the movie came out, I wasn't too happy about the face, but now I really like it. It's really sharp, and it feels like LEGO has finally come into their own Joker version as they bounced around with several different looks. Very good figure to keep a lookout for. Alright, maybe another villain to build. Hugo Strange. Not a very silly minifigure going on, mostly serious. Probably on the same lines as Dr. Phosphorus over there. <laughs> Hugo Strange, one of those old-school villains, some vials of chemicals, he's up to no good. Worthy for your more serious Batman minifigure collection. Then there are these two, Jor-El and General Zod. Pretty much more on the lines of a Superman character. Whoops, hang on. Can't forget the family seal. These two feel a little bit out of place with the collection. Maybe they threw them in for some of the other DC sets. But there's some slight connections here for the Batman Lego movie. Jor-El with some blue Krypton crystals. I had to special order that blue crystal in one time for something. Wonder what it was. At first I was a little bit bummed with General Zod's accessory, but then I read it and it was funny. The Gotham Gazette kneel before Zod in polls. Candidate Neil wins on platform will not enslave humanity. So these guys are kind of interesting, depending on what spectrum you follow in the DC Universe. Oh, wait a sec. There we go. Okay, getting pretty crowded back there. Who's next? Ah, it's one of my favorite super friends, Black Vulcan. Oh, wait a minute, something's wrong here. Ah, there we go. Much better. Black Vulcan was always one of the cool characters of the Super Friends, because after a while you would get kind of bored with Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. So when a new superhero would come by like Black Vulcan or Green Arrow, it was always a special treat. I guess not to be confused by Black Lightning, Super Friends had to change the name, create a new character for licensing reasons. I love collecting anything from Super Friends. Those were the days when the superheroes always won, they were happy to do it, and they didn't get killed off.
Continuing, speaking of awesome added superheroes for super friends, Apache Chief. Enochok! This guy was so cool in the early 80s. Has the ability to grow super huge, and at one time one-fifth of the entire Earth. His foot would take out the entire United States. Not really sure what he's holding on to. Looks to be a photo booth picture strip from the Justice League anniversary party. I see Apache Chief posing for a photo, and then in the background what could be Gleek the monkey jumping into the shot. So that's where Gleek went. Very important figure for your Super Friends collection though. I still wish in that new Wonder Woman movie, the Chief was Apache Chief. But since he was created for Super Friends, they probably didn't really want to go that way. Very fun figure. I can only hope that LEGO will produce a giant version of him someday. Alright, let's work on those swim trunks. Get those out of the way. And it's Aquaman swimming buddy with Vacation Batman. Now's your chance for an amazing dolphin minifigure. And a Batman minifigure down to nearly nothing. Yikes. Going to have to look for the other Baywatch inspired lifeguard minifigures from LEGO. I think we're looking at the original series too for one of those figures. Another splashing figure. While we're still at the beach, let's look for a Robin. And it's Vacation Robin with a boombox and ice cream cone. Aww. Vacation Robin is a lovable character with a cabana shirt of little Robin ducklings, I suppose. Love how they include his glasses onto his hairpiece. Looks like those ducks go all the way around to the back, too. Fun figure! They're really into vacation with this series. And it's Disco Harley Quinn. Funny how Batman the Animated Series has made Harley Quinn a star, yet the Super Friends wasn't able to get much success out of Apache Chief. Disco Harley looking good. Don't mix up her torso piece with Disco Alfred. Pretty similar on that round. Harley has some awesome gold silver mismatched skates and a pretty cool hairpiece going on too. I would imagine one of the more popular characters of this series. And it's Bat Merchandise Batman Fan Club of Batgirl. Is that the limited edition utility belt? Are those the Batman credit cards from Batman and Robin? Sadly, this might be the most normal Batman-esque minifigure of this collection. Pretty fun and scene-specific minifigure to the collection. Are we down to the last one? I think I have some extra pieces to work on. And we finish off with Vacation Alfred. Or Jailbird Alfred. A lot of stripes going on with that old-fashioned swimsuit. Drink with a cherry in it. This is that one figure you keep getting doubles of too, I could just see it. Very good, sir. Now I have a few extra pieces to deal with. I think I know the first one right off the bat though. How did I miss Clock King's cape? There we go. That looks more correct. Funny that I didn't see that even with the cape coming down over the front of his torso. But there were a lot of pieces. And it looks like this must be Surfer Vacation Batgirl's Bat Belt. Yep. Not really sure how I missed that. Seems kind of important, really stands out. But again, there are a lot of pieces on the table. And what does this go to? Oh, I think I got it. They're Disco Alfred's coattails. How did I miss that as well? Probably because the coattails with the shiny silver rhinestones are exactly the same color as my table. I even have little shiny sparkles on my table. So easy miss on that. All right, Clock King, let's get your other spear on. Only pile of constructed pieces, Batman. You did it. And there is series two in all of its glory. What a wild cast of crazy characters they built with this one. I can imagine this series is going to be either really popular with some people or completely over the heads of others. There is a lot of bit background pieces going on in here. It might not be enough for people to want to collect. It's possible these might peg warm a little bit on shelves. 
Or perhaps Vacation Batman with that dolphin is going to sell the series. I for one am so happy to see the super friends, Zan and Jaina, Black Vulcan, and Apache Chief. They should all go really well with that one other playset floating around somewhere. I'll take that dolphin from you, good sir! Lego The Batman Movie Minifigures Series 2 arrives on store shelves January 2018. They run approximately $3.99 a bag. And if you're looking for the whole collection, try the eBay route. It will save you some smooshy squishy time. The set contains some greats like Mermaid Batman, Clock King, and Killer Moth. A great opportunity to fill up and complete collections. Just make sure to find a miniature robe for Vacation Batman. He's showing a little too much skin. That's what I have to say about that. Apache Squirrel had the ability to grow 100 squirrels tall. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. The water's nice, isn't it, Joker? Yeah, nice to take a break. Hey, have you seen Barbara? No! I guess maybe we'll see her later at the picnic. Y yeah, 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 the picnic maybe.